Hi, it's Brian Johns from the University of Iowa. A lot of us around the lab are biking enthusiasts, so we're usually wrenching or working on our bicycles. Today what we're going to do is make a bash guard for this bicycle. And what a bash guard does is two things. First, it protects the front chain ring a little bit, but more importantly what it does is keeps the chain from derailing. Here is the old bash guard. It's made out of aluminum. As you can see, it's dented up here. So what we're going to do is mill out a new one out of carbon fiber on the PCNC770 and hopefully make it a little stronger and a little lighter weight. Let's get started. I got the carbon fiber stock cut ready to go in the mill. I also learned today that carbon fiber is conductive because when I went to cut this carbon fiber, I triggered the saw stop. And here's the piece that needs to be replaced now. There's still some teeth in there. I don't know if you can see that. And there's some teeth missing on the blade. I must have missed that day of class where we learned how conductive carbon fiber was. But you learn from your mistakes. I have the carbon fiber all clamped in the mill now. The piece I am cutting is actually seven inches in diameter. The travel of this machine is seven and a half inches in the Y direction. Therefore I have to be pretty careful about where I clamp this workpiece. So I actually lined up the middle of this workpiece with the middle of the, the range of travel for the machine. And this ensures I won't hit any limit switches. The first sequence I'll run will mill five holes deep enough into the sacrifice plate where I can tap these holes and then put bolts in, further securing this carbon fiber piece to the sacrifice plate. Another thing to keep in mind is the dust that comes off the carbon fiber is very bad for you if you inhale it. Therefore, I will be using a respirator and trying to keep the piece pretty wet with coolant, therefore knocking down most of the dust that might fly into the air. Each of the holes are tapped for a 1024 bolt so the part can be further secured for the next sequence.
The bash guard cleaned up really well. I wasn't sure how well it would clean up after I took it out of the mill, but it cleaned up fairly easily. Still has its mirror finish on it. Looks really nice.